devil rays, like their close cousins the manta rays, are curious and intelligent. And like mantas, these magnificent rays are in danger of extinction. Devil rays are being killed across the globe, primarily not for their meat, but for just one single organ, their gill plates, the large filters that these rays use to catch phytoplankton and small fishes. Dried gill plates are marketed in China as Peng Yu Sai, a purported health tonic and aid for nursing mothers, despite the lack of any evidence that gill plates provide health benefits and have, in fact, been shown to accumulate toxins. With consumers unaware of potential risks, the market has tripled in only three years. We are now killing more than 150,000 devil rays every year for the gill plate trade, compounding the effects of massive losses from bycatch in other fisheries. This is simply not sustainable. Fishing has devastated devil ray populations. Some local populations have almost disappeared, and other major declines have likely occurred unnoticed because there has been relatively little science undertaken to understand these elusive creatures. Like mantas, devil rays produce very few young, even compared to other sharks and rays. This low productivity means that even moderate fishing can quickly wipe out regional populations. Devil rays also aggregate in large numbers, making them much more vulnerable to targeted fishing. And some species migrate thousands of kilometers, vastly increasing their chances of meeting a hook, trawl, or gill net. In 2013, CITES made history by protecting manta rays. We must ensure that devil rays, already in critical need of our protection, do not succumb to the increasing pressure from the gill plate trade. Protecting devil rays will also make it easier to enforce manta ray protections, as the specialized training to distinguish between gill plates of different species will no longer be required. Enforcement agencies need an unmistakable directive. Effective conservation of mantas and devil rays requires that we protect both. If trends continue, these spectacular animals will be driven to the brink of extinction. The time to protect them is now. The time is now to end this unsustainable trade. The time is now to protect these vulnerable animals. The time is now for CITES to lead the way.